Okay, LeVon Chasson joining us here, here at one and a half sacks tonight, and this LSU defense performance was probably exactly what you guys had planned. Yeah, correct, correct. I mean, throughout all week, we made sure as the players we spoke upon each other, and we just made sure that we wanted to play hard all fourth quarter. So one thing that we haven't done well, and Coach Aranda tells us all the time, is play hard through all fourth quarter. So we tried to make it an emphasis tonight that we're going to play hard through all fourth quarters, and when we do it, we're going to do it on a consistent basis. We're not going to just do it one game, but we're going to keep it going throughout the season. Do you think it's as simple as a wake-up call by the by the playoff committee? You know, they kind of you know said some things Tuesday night, and, and and obviously leapfrog Ohio State. Talked about some of the basically some of those second half where you guys gave up some points. Did that kind of make you guys think, hey, we just we can't do that anymore? Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean. As, as much as Coach O preached us about not paying attention to it, but it's, it's only so much that you can block out when, when people are just cons consistently disrespecting the defense. And we take pride in this so much, and we know the talent that we have, and everybody else knows the talent that we have on this defense. So just know that you have this talent, and everybody just great players and who are on a high level and elite players throughout the college football, and things are not clicking. We tried to make it a personal thing throughout this week, especially from last year going against this team and just the past the defense has been playing all year. So we tried to make sure this game was a complete game. You know, last year, you know, this, this was a you know, seven overtime game and, and teams looked pretty balanced. They had some success moving the football. It wasn't the case tonight. You got a lot of the same players. What do you uh, attest to that? I just feel like last year we just, I feel like we played down in that level. I mean, just no disrespect to the opponent, but we felt like we were the better team. And then this year we made sure there was an emphasis that we saw it. And a lot of guys got healthy. You know, last year we didn't have a lot of healthy guys. And I'm thankful we have an offense who's up and rolling this year and that can't be stopped. So, I mean, it's just a fact that just a mentality that we all know that we're the better team and we just have to play like it. Coach O talked about Marcus Allen, uh, spoke to the team last night. Uh, you know, I'm an old guy, I'm 47 years old. Marcus Allen played before me. One, did guys know who Marcus Allen was? And what was the message? I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't, so I'm going to tell you that. I didn't know who he was. But, I mean, he was just one of them guys that, as a, and he kept saying just like, man, you got so many guys pulling for you. Just He's a USC He's a USC fan. He's pulling for the Tigers. And one thing he just said, man, just trust our coaches. And, man, these guys been through a night. They have so much knowledge from Coach Robinson and all the analysts that we have on the staff that help us and just help the coaches. And they just give us the game plan. Like, just trust the coaches, man. This is meant to be. You know what I'm saying? Don't really try to make things up or try to outsmart you know, and Just trust them, and everything's going to be in our favor. Finally, uh, get a chance to play for a championship next week in Atlanta. You know, it's been a few years since LSU's been in this game. And what's your thoughts? Um, we're going to celebrate this win. I mean, we're going to take care, and then next year we'll handle that when we get to the film room Monday. All right, thanks for the time. Good luck in Atlanta. Thank you. All right, let's throw it back to the studio.